so here's a subject that I'm sure everyone's got a different opinion on. It's the flat tappet cam argument. I'm changing in my Holden 308, I'm changing from a flat tappet to a hydraulic roller. And hopefully this episode I'm going to show you how it's done. And hopefully I'm going to show you me having some success with it. But yeah, who knows at this point. So after having an issue and losing the top of a piston, I rebuilt 308 with some new flat top pistons. Same cam, it looked all right. However, I ended up losing two lobes in that cam. So I then went and purchased another, um, this is probably a silly move, I purchased a, a second hand cam, but it looked in good condition, some new flat tappet lifters. I did everything right, like I did a video on this. Drove it for about a thousand k's and then I ended up losing two lobes. So rather than spend, say, another thousand dollars, I think now I've spent it's about 2100 to convert it to hydraulic roller. A little bit, so I'm about to start pulling the old cam out. Uh, leaving the heads on, leaving the engine in. Uh, See so here I go, I've done it like this the other couple of times. Yes, yeah, so it was two different lobes both times. I've already got heads with studs and guides and that sort of stuff in them. Roll rockers. So that's the stuff there. Now, what I'm using to convert this. Now, I'll show the part numbers and, and links and all that sort of stuff in the description. So this is a, a Morel lifter. They're from a Pontiac V8. Uh, same spacing and bore as the Holden V8. And uh, with the cam I'm using, uh, I've measured this. Still about three mil cover on the lifter bores for that oil hole there. So should be all right. Now the thing is, they are very tight to get in under the um, the heads here. You sort of got to angle them in a little bit and then wiggle it in. But there you go. So that's what I'll be using. Uh, I had to order some shorter push rods. I think they're about 11 mil or nearly half an inch shorter. I think I ended up ordering 8.2 inch uh, 5 16 chrome molly push rods. I think that's it. I'm not sure about the gear for the oil pump or the gear for the distributor yet. I'm going to call up Grow Cams tomorrow and. Um, yeah, see what they reckon. So this is the cam I went with. It's a Crow 51528. A hydraulic roller for the early heads. So it's a 51528. Uh, 110 degree lobe separation angle. 228 and 232 at 50, which is a 286, 293. So a split profile, just a bit more exhaust these heads don't fly the best um, and 528 and 529 um, lift so hopefully that'll work it should work with the current springs I've got the other reason I went with the hydraulic roller is it's an absolute nightmare to um, pull the inner springs out of these for the flat tapper then put them all back in especially here around the brake booster so I can leave all the double springs in Oops. Yeah, leave all the double springs in. Shouldn't have any issues with wiping any lines. So yeah, I'm going to get started and pull this cam out. And hopefully, I've got some success. And if you go onto my Instagram, which is TazTuned, one word. Or my Facebook page. So there's the convict. And on the back. And there it is there. So we've just finished a new supercharger belt set up on the convict and I've got about a month until I'm using that trying to take out the dirt drags it chopped so yeah if you'd like a t-shirt let me know I'll ship anywhere got the test tuned one the um, convict one or the sort of traditional bike one so here's a quick comparison between the two cams so that's the hydraulic roller it's flat tap it you have a look the profile on that. Uh, let's look at that one, see how round that is compared to that. That's like a real egg shape. That one's 
very rounded. So you get it's like pretty much the same lift, but a lot more duration, like the valves, because of that bigger profile instead of like that. It's sort of open for longer. So hopefully I'll get a bit of a performance boost as well. Let's have a quick look, see how the oil holes look, because I'm spinning that camera around. So there's maximum lift. Let's have a quick look. See Probably three holes. millimetres or eighth of an inch, so hopefully that's enough cover. But it's definitely not popping out. First cruise today of the roller cam Alpha 308. So I was just motor has never sounded so quiet in the mode. Uh, there is an exhaust leak underneath the battery the side that I haven't tacked up yet. Uh, but we're gonna go for a little cruise and see how it goes with this new cam, new lift leak. Um, I'm really excited to see how it performs. It hasn't sort of run properly since we've got to go get it, so if we can get some performance out of this thing, then I'll fight. Right, you guys. In case it breaks down. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Alright, first test drive with the new King and Millie.
Well, there we go. Roller left a conversion in an early 308. I'm really happy with the results. I'm not saying it'll work for everyone and every situation, but with my car, it's it's working great. Uh, oil pressure's fine across the whole rev range. It's actually improved a little bit from what it was. Uh, oh, what can I say? It's It feels stronger. It's a lot quieter. Um, I was having problems with the, the lifters being noisy with the flat tap it set up. So look, I'm going to list the part numbers in the description. Uh, if you want to do your own research, see if it'll work, but this is what has worked for me. Uh, no more stresses about the flat tappet and losing a lobe. It did cost a little bit over double what the flat tappet would have cost me, but would I do it again? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment, ask any questions, or go onto my Instagram or Facebook at TazTuned and ask me any questions you need. Uh, happy to help. Like I said, you do it at your own risk and uh, sort of investigate every all your circumstances yourself. But for me, would 100% do it again. So thanks for watching. See ya.